Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as the KMT. Let's continue on for the last stuff off. So, we're trying our best. We've restarted the save again. We've now not declared war on Anshing. So I'm hope hopefully they will, uh... Maybe not crash five times, so that's good. But hopefully, we can maybe at least defeat the Nanjing clique. Because they have more troops than Anshing. So if Anshing, we have to go to war with them in the future. Like, it should be, on paper, an easier fight. Again, keyword there kind of being on paper. You know, but we need to break through somewhere. Also draw an offensive line near Nanjing. I'm going to ask for military access through you. These two guys are going to march their way up north. Just because I'm curious to see the state of affairs over here. Because it's not going so hot. Also, Tanah Player just gave us territory to the AI. But that's okay. Because once we're actually in the peace negotiation screen, I can do whatever I want. And the AI can't stop me. It's really just for like some scouting information more than anything. But that's all good. Let's now get the off map military factory. And Jing does have a lot of troops surrounding it. Like I'm assuming they have troops over this entire border. So maybe there's a point where I can assist in, like here maybe? They got a tank who's got some pretty good breakthrough. Maybe I should be building a tank, like I could train an armor division. But I have like one factory, there's no way I can afford that. Like it's just like not physically possible, so... Let's upgrade our conscription laws to limited conscription. Let us start researching better industry. really want those army reforms. How much army experience do we get? National Revolution Army is a negative 30% on that. So no matter what, we are still uh, having some problems, to say the least. Which is a real shame. Terrain, night, country... Like, how the- how are you supposed to win this? Especially since we can't, like, do naval invasions, even though I would love to. Actually, I should- I'm gonna break my research tree a little bit, but I think I should maybe even just get, re like, transport ships. Research- like, build a single boat. Maybe, like, build a single, like, aircraft to get- Will I be able to even get naval superiority over here? Like, I would need to build a single boat. Yeah, there's like literally nothing on it. I have 50 naval experience. So... Whatever, like, the cheapest ship is. We lack fire control system. Do I need a fire control system? Like, I just want... What about, like, the light ships? No, I don't have a fire control system, so I can't actually build boats. Okay, well, we, we have some problems going on here. So, so this whole researching naval stuff, this is probably not going to work at all, is it? Let's go back to researching you. 
Unless I can get it through this tree. Um. I mean, that's get, getting caught. Let's seize German capital for another thousand rifles. Seems like an okay place to start. We're still going to have a, uh, a difficult time. So a thousand units. Germany and Germany's Asia are not going to like us, but who cares what they think? Like, it, it, that, that doesn't matter too much. Establish a base. 30. Stock. Like, that's... Not that great, right? I mean, 30 convoys is nice and all. But it doesn't get us a boat. And what I was really looking for was like a boat. Quick stand to clear war on people. That's fine. 42 rifles, like, thank you, but I kind of need, I mean, I do need guns. I need 3.4, 3.7 thousand. That's going to take, like, two years to actually re uh, fill up. Which is a pretty significant amount of time. Okay, 88, 78. I feel like there's nothing I can really do over here at the moment. It's your mountains, which is difficult to break our way through. I guess we'll do the legal codes. But, like, right now, I can't train up more men. As much as I would love to. Nanjing. One war support. Yeah, it looks like we might actually be able to break through these provinces, which is lovely. Keep you behind. But a breakthrough somewhere is incredibly... Yes, like this. Thank you very much. Do not allow reinforcements to get through. One of you saves back, attacks this guy. If we can make this work. And also, this time, let's not get surrounded by the enemy. Because uh, that was an embarrassment. You guys actually can't retreat right now, unfortunately. Even though I would love for that to be the case here. Like, how is those worth 10 victory points? That's not a lot. That's, that's a decent amount. Nanjing is still pretty far away, unfortunately. Okay, please stop attacking so I can move my troop over here. Get us around on these two guys. And probably also take Hang Zhao. I mean, this attack should be over soon. There we go. If you're on this front, you're just wrong. You're over here. You push here. You push here. That should at least be this dealt with. You keep pushing in this direction now. You guys are signed here. You push. You push. They'll run out of supply soon enough. So don't worry about that, I think, at the moment. You're a mountain union division. Like, there's no way you're actually that tough. You actually have 54 defense. That's pretty good. And this, these guys are going to be considered surrounded soon. Which is also nice for us. Maybe we're getting to the point where maybe we can actually win this war. Uh, we'll still have to fight over Anjou afterwards. Ranching. But that's a different fight. You know, we can cross that bridge when we get there. For now, 
We're doing about the best we've ever done. Again, I think this guy could theoretically declare war on us anytime he wanted to. But that'd be dumb, right? Like, you couldn't... You couldn't do that. That'd be... Ridiculous. Let's get 500 rifles, please. We can try to equip the troops. You both push into this guy. You are worth two victory points. Not a lot, but it is not nothing either. Get a better rifle. So it's not even 1937 yet. I think this is probably the longest the series has gone on. Without me reaching 1937. I mean, there's just been a lot of a lot of things going on. Uh, you could say. Really? You're also gonna turn around, try to fight this guy. Even surrounded, like they are really tough to break, apparently. Probably due to like the mountain effects here. I'm so still surprised. Low supply countries, a negative 45% penalty. Like, they're suffering a defense penalty as big as our attack penalties. Because I'm assuming they're also having the uh, negative to army mod... Is it revolution army modifier? I'm not too sure, but it's some modifier. Okay, you guys are at war. That's fine. I'm not too worried about that at the moment. Like, I would still like to be able to... ...invade some people. Like, navally. I would like to land some troops back here. But I'm assuming the AI has not, like, defended those ports. But I don't think that's unfortunately ever going to happen. At least not anytime soon. Are you in the mountains? No, you're in the plains. You have a base value of 5 attack. That's horrible. It does like the Nanjing cliques actually managing to kind of push their way through. Which is worrying. Five attack against 99 defense. It's still really bad. We'll do something like this. Like, what are, what's, what are these militias? Like, what are your base stats? Toss attack 6, heart attack 1, 9, 1. 1.5. And I don't think I can, like, modify these troops, right? No, I could, theoretically. I can't modify these guys, the Gaming Mo Bing Liu. They're just stuck where they are. Establish naval presence, support canteen of one. I mean, that's really about all we can do. We can get the 30 convoys first. Like, I don't think it's going to make a big difference at the moment. You're almost dead. Almost, almost, almost. Like, we can just attack Enjing right now. But, like, that, that, there's no way that helps us, right? Because I gave this guy our territory. We actually cannot core this territory at the moment. That's, like, entirely my own fault. We 
you actually maybe push this guy out? Like, oh, your troops are so much better. Base value. What are, what are my guys' like base attacks here? 18, 13, 9, 1.5. Our guys just suck. There's actual garbage. There's not a redeeming trait about any of them. There we got another infantry division. Ploy him up to the north. Cancel all of these guys for now. Only deploy one more uh, line of them. So we might as well support KMT in these other territories. So there's literally nothing else we can actually do. Like you down here. You have 14 to 17 divisions. You have 5 to 9. Like what are the chances I could just kill you? June 1st, 19... Like, we are in 1937. I think there's a slight chance I can maybe try to build up troops and just rush Hanan and annex them into our country. I do think that might be one of our... only real strategies we have at the moment, which is... amazing to me. We're actually pushing our way through here. If you can do this and then push your way to Nanjing, that will do a lot to help us out. I am going to establish a second front just against you. That's one, two, three, four, five long. About the size of his army right now. Because, like, I think this front to the north, it's about as secure as it's going to get. If all of my troops had like 50 attack right now, like we'd be in a much different situation. Um, research slot available. Let's go for... How much does a firing mechanism cost? It's in... Where, where is it again? Basic fire control system. So we need to get like f four techs to even be able to get the firing range system. To be able to use marines to maybe do like some sort of like naval invasion trickery. And that seems very difficult. You know what? We're gonna send two more divisions up here to that king. Okay, well, so we're actually gonna break through you. I thought I had one guy stay back. Did I not? Okay, you stay back. You hold position. You're still fine where you are. What if we do something like this? It's a bit strange, but it might actually work. Wuxi's worth 10. You attack this guy. I don't see anywhere we can get easily, like, flanked. Can you go this way still? You could. This might actually work.
Huey Long's been assassinated. I think that might be like the first time I've kind of seen that one. I know it could happen this whole time, but I've never actually seen it uh, play out. This is actually, you know what? This is pretty good. The Najin clique for half capitulated. There's a chance we can maybe like surround some of these troops, which would be nice. Yeah, you just stay here. Yes, give me more rifles, please. Like, we're almost in Najing. People are declaring war on Maclik. So that means we're actually going to lose a volunteer division. That's okay. Compared to what could have happened. So we've got a standoff in America. A very small CSA against the, the massive United States. I feel like that's going to be pretty one-sided, but we'll see. They actually might lose it. They, we've done it. I took over this entire coastline. If anything, I should have Jinja myself. All right, I'm gonna take Nan King. I'm gonna actually, okay, for one. How many points do I have? 170 points? Okay, well, we're gonna pass a bunch. This is so far the best we've done. I'm gonna say this is mine. And Jing, you can have the rest. How many men do you have? You have 12 to 30, you have 21 divisions. Okay, so, mobilize units. Intervene in the Gangshi Gunk. Support the KMT Center. Read against the 10 to 14. You know what? Oh, but that's very dangerous. It's incredibly dangerous right now. But I think with us actually winning that battle, for us to finally win the war in a pretty decent way, I think this is going to be a good time to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching my so anytime. If you enjoyed, hit a thumbs up. And not enjoy, call you down. If you want to subscribe, and goodbye.